the European Union is falling apart. If you haven't been watching the news, there's never been a better time to start than now. Every day brings fresh reports of new political drama. If you enjoyed watching the United States Congress fight, you should watch the 17 core European Union countries bicker and backstab each other. It's wonderful. It's like a little Christmas present early. So what happened? How did this happen? It started when they created the Euro. They didn't have a lot of foresight. These countries came together and agreed to have a common currency. And they agreed to have some sort of oversight. But they didn't enforce the oversight to how their different respective national budgets would work. And now because every country is its own sovereign, they're free to do whatever the hell they want. For instance, in Greece, they just ran up debt. They pretended like everything was fine. They cooked their books. And now, when they owe tons and tons of money that they can't repay, if they were to abide by the rules of the European Union and the common currency, then they would have to stay in the euro and kind of suffer through it. But you see, because they are their own sovereign, because they are not like, for instance, say, a state in the United States, they have the ability to say, you know what, this isn't working out for us. We're just going to dump the euro and go with our own currency system and we're going to stiff everyone that we owe money to. Here in the States, a state can't do that. But because the European Union countries are all sovereign, they can, at their own choosing and at their own time, leave the currency and leave all of those nasty, hard-to-pay debts behind with them on someone else's shoulders. Isn't that just wonderful? That's why people are losing faith in the Euro. Because banks that have a lot of reserves in Euro are going to get stiffed. If you have a loan to someone in Greece in Euro, oh my gosh, you're going to get taken to the cleaners. And by the time that they're done with you, you'll never make another loan to anyone in Greece ever again. But it won't matter because by that time, you'll probably be bankrupt yourself. Essentially, that is what is happening. All of these countries are potentially gearing up to renege on their debts. And the countries that saved up, they're going to get hurt too because the value of their quote-unquote euro is going to weaken as people begin to lose faith in it. European Union is coming undone. It's unraveling and it's going to be messy. But what I find most shocking out of all of this is that there are still investors, new investors, sophisticated investors, investors of all sorts who still continue to have their money in the European Union, in European Union banks, in euros. Why? Why would you continue to hold euros when, as you can plainly see, the entire system is collapsing? The smart thing is to take that money out and go into U.S. Treasuries. Now, I know the naysayers and doomsayers for the U.S. economy will say, no, no, don't get Treasuries, don't hold on to dollars, our economy is collapsing. While that may be true, our economy is not yet collapsing today. Not at a rate fast enough that would destroy the transfer of funds from euros to dollars. At least to give investors time to breathe. Because if you're an investor, you definitely need time to breathe. So I guess to end this, I would say that if you have any assets in financial institutions in Europe, the smart thing for you to do would be to divest yourselves of them as quickly as possible. Because that's all that's going to happen now. It's going to be a race for the exits. And trust me, you don't want to be caught inside the burning building. Do the smart thing. Either transfer it to different currencies, or at least, at the very least, use your European denominated funds to buy things. Get yourself a house. Pay off your home. Buy some luxury goods. But just don't sit on it. You're going to see your dollars, your, I'm sorry, your euros evaporate in value.